bro. <laughs> I just be like, why you live with your ex husband? <laughs> Good, good morning, boss. Good morning, Batman. I, I can't do a Joker. I can't do Joker. I'm not doing anything. But that was my way of saying <laughs> I'm in my fucking Joker era because I'm going fucking insane, man. Dude, yesterday I'm trying to record my grandfather opening his Christmas gifts and I fucking pass out. I literally got lightheaded, vision got blurry, swinging back and forth, boom. Somehow I went from behind the couch to under the fucking tree. He's like, you're getting too high, blah, blah, blah. Bro, I don't know if he's right or not. But I know that's the second time that's happened. And look, stop six, 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 six. Oh God. <laughs> but that's what I have to say. I'm trying to. I'm trying to understand if. Uh, this hill is kicking my ass. I'm just gonna walk. Like my electric skateboard, fucking broken. Still trying to fix it. And I'm trying to understand if my life sucks or if I complain too much. Because there are things I could do. I could get this thing open if I really wanted to fuck it up. It might not even skate for shit anymore. But I could test my, my little theory. I could go in the living room and tell a nigga, hey, get off the couch. I wanna watch fucking, I wanna watch fucking whatever. But, I don't know. I could tell my grandpa like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna stop smoking. I could tell myself I would stop smoking. I don't know if it's true. I told myself so many times before I was gonna quit. And then it's just like, one, I don't really want to. I don't. I enjoy how it feels. And I'm actually looking forward to feeling some other things. Look at this Winnebago. It's nice though, I wonder what it's like inside. Or how it runs. RVs are a headache, man. <laughs> RVs are a fucking headache. Everything is. There's no perfect, uh, there's no perfect life. Okay, you're always gonna have conflicts. You're always gonna have Bad hair days. <laughs> Sometimes you're gonna fucking pass out. And and that's the second time that's happened. Because the first time it happened in my grandpa's bathroom. And I fucking busted my head on the damn counter. Or something. I don't know what the hell, honestly. Maybe it was a door frame. <sighs> and then, uh, bro, these bus stops suck. They're, like, at niggas' houses. I'm just gonna keep walking until I find a good one. This one at least has a bench. <laughs> you know what really sucks is my fucking job. Shit, dude. 
can't believe how much this job sucks. And here I go, walking my ass out there. I'll be surprised if my check is even $300. And I mean, that's kind of something that I could change. Fuck off. But... On the other hand, bro, I'd be feeling like helpless. It's not true though, I just, I just really struggle to ask for help. Anyway, I like walking. I kind of, I kind of don't miss having a car all the time. <laughs> Because that's something that I felt helpless to. That's something that made me feel like, oh my God, there's just no way that I can just live at all if I'm not able to drive every five seconds. <laughs> like, it's kind of nice feeling like I'm still independent and uh, capable of getting around with public transit, you know, simple internet searches, hoofing it, skating around, line biking. <laughs> but line bikes are so expensive. Uh, I don't know. Driving is a very stressful thing, you know? And everybody's so angry about it running off the road. But that just reminded me of my point because this like mountain range is so beautiful. And uh, before that, I was like, um, I was looking at like hummingbirds. The other day I saw a hummingbird. It was hovering around. It was hanging out. It was chilling. It was flying, looking for flowers or whatever. It was beautiful. And uh, I think it's good to be kind of, kind of graced with the, uh, uh, or enchanted, all right, before you get to work every day. Like most people, they get up shake a shit out quick so that I can eat anything you know in the car on the way get to work do the whole job now you're tired trust me I'd be tired as hell when I get back but you know yeah, and then they just fucking move on but um it's just like kind of going on a Nice brisk walk, getting the birds to sing to you and getting some thoughts off. You gotta get up a little earlier, but you know, everybody loves an early bird. It's good to be an early bird. The, sun, the sunshine or the sunrise is, is such a beautiful time. Uh, to just like watch that cycle of life and reality as you know it perpetuate itself right there again like clockwork sunshiny day I love California so much it's literally like December 26th and it's gonna be like 70 degrees it's gonna be so sunny they, every time I talk to somebody about how much I love it right now, they're like, oh, just you wait until summer. You're going to hate it, blah, blah, blah. Everybody hates where they live. Everybody hates everything. Everybody has much things. That, 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 that's one thing that I that I got from this whole little D's Call Your Project I've been doing, right? We're posting way too much of my personal information on the internet and, and, and watching... Uh, and, and doing the whole, you know, uh, uh, time capsule 
thing for myself so I can uh, think four-dimensionally or whatever the hell I had going through my head. One thing I've learned above all else while um, reviewing my videos, editing them, is, oh my God, do I complain a lot. <laughs> it's exhausting. Okay, lighten up. You already complained about it. So it's nice to have those those complaints filed, right? That's kind of what it feels like. Is is like is like filing my complaint so I can get it off my chest and move on with my day. I've been walking. The bus stop is just around the corner. But uh I just I just hate feeling crowded. That house feels crowded. She lives there with her ex-husband and two dogs that be blocking the hallway when you come out so they, so they can fucking smell your feet and your toes and fucking you know I don't even be seeing the other girl cause she be locked up in her room just the same way I be locked up in my room for how much? But uh, yeah, that that bus walk, that, that bus stop doesn't have a bench, and then the next one did have a bench, but it was literally somebody's front yard. So I just walked all the way to the third bus stop from my home. Hey, listen, listen to that. We did it, guys. We did it, fellas and lady. <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> we got a home we got off the street and I just want to be appreciative of that and just you know enjoy the tap water maybe comb my hair For now, we'll just cling to the vision. You know, we'll just keep trying to keep it together. Keep trying to keep getting this money, man. Gotta get a new job. Bullshit. <sighs> kind of sucks being back in the rat race, you know, but at the same time, <laughs> Homelessness is just another rat race of its own. So many other, it's just a different set of daily responsibilities. But regardless of how you live, you're gonna have to do something. You have to do it routinely and you should probably do something else in the background so you don't go fucking postal. Do something you enjoy, do something you're scared of, do something new, you know. You know, you know, you know. Look at how long my hair my hair is getting. Smash like.